It's finished. Nearly finished. It must be nearly finished. Grain upon grain. One by one and one day suddenly there's a heap. A little heap. The impossible heap. We can't be punished anymore. I'll go now to my kitchen ten feet by ten feet by ten feet and wait for him to whistle me. Nice dimensions. Nice proportions. I lean on the table and look at the wall and wait for him to whistle me.
to play. Old Stanger. be misery loftier than mine? No doubt. Formerly. But now. My father. My mother. My dog. Oh, I'm willing to believe they suffer as much as such creatures can suffer. But does that mean their suffering equals mine? No doubt. No. All is... Alpsilius, the bigger a man is, the fuller he is, and the emptier. Clove? No. Alone. What dreams? Those forests. Enough. It's time it ended in the refuge, too. And yet I hesitate. I hesitate, too. To end. Yes, there it is. It's time it ended, and yet I hesitate to. to end. God, I'm tired. I'd be better off in bed. You pollute the air. Get me ready, I'm going to bed. I've just got you up. And what of it? Well, I can't be getting you up and putting you to bed every five minutes. I've things to do. Did you ever see my eyes? No. Did you never have the curiosity while I was sleeping to take off my glasses and look at my eyes? Pulling back the lids? No. One of these days I'll show them to you. It seems... They've gone all the ways. What time is this? Same as usual. Have you looked? Yes. Well? Zero. It'll need to rain. It won't rain. Apart from that, how do you feel? I don't complain. You feel normal? I tell you, I don't complain. I feel a little queer. Clove. Yes. Have you not had enough? Yes! Of what? Of this. This thing. I always had. Not you. Then there's no reason for it to change. It may end. All life long, the same questions, the same answers. Get me ready. Go and get the sheet. Clove. Yes? I'll give you nothing more to eat. Then we'll die. I'll give you just enough to keep you from dying. You'll be hungry all the time. Then we shan't die. I'll go and get the sheet. No! I'll give you one biscuit per day. One and a half. Why do you stay with me? Why do you keep me? There's no one else. There's nowhere else. But you're leaving me all the same. I'm trying. You don't love me? No. You loved me once? Once. I've made you suffer too much, haven't I? It's not that. I haven't made you suffer too much. Yes! Ah, uh-huh, you gave me a fright. Forgive me. I said forgive me. I heard you. Have you bled? Less. It's no time for my painkiller. No. How are your eyes? Bad. How are your legs? Bad. Have you can move? Yes. Then move! Where are you? Here. Come back. Where are you? Here. Why don't you kill me? I don't know the combination of the ladder. Go and get two bicycle wheels. There are no more bicycle wheels. What have you done with your bicycle? I never had a bicycle. The 
thing is impossible. And there were still bicycles. I wept to have one. I crawled at your feet. You told me to get out of hell. Now there are none. And your rounds. When you inspected my paupers, always on foot. Sometimes on horse. I have things to do. In your kitchen? Yes. Outside of here, it's death. All right, be off. We're getting on. Be pap! A cursed throat genera! Be pap! The old folks are now. No decency left. Guzzle, guzzle, that's all they think of. Well, I thought you were leaving me. Oh, not just yet, not just yet. Me pap! Give me his pap. There's no more pap. You hear that? There's no more pap. You'll never get any more pap. I fought me pap! Give me biscuits. A cursed fornicator! Now are your stumps? Never mind me stumps! Back again with the biscuit. What is it? Spats medium. It's hard. I can't battle him. Age but new. Sit on him. I can't sit. True. And I can't stand. So it is. Every man has his speciality. No phone calls. Don't be laugh. I don't feel like it. No, Roy. Clove. Yes? Nature has forgotten us. There's no more nature. No more nature? You exaggerate. In the vicinity. We breed, we change, we lose our hair, our teeth, our bloom, our ideals. And she hasn't forgotten us. But you say there's none. No one that ever lived ever thought so crooked as we. We do what we can. We shouldn't. You're a bit of all right, aren't you? Smithereen. This is slow work. Is it not time for my painkiller? No! I leave you. I have things to do. In your kitchen? Yes. What? I'd like to know. I look at the wall. Look at the wall. What do you see on your wall? Many, many... Naked bodies. I see my light dying. Your light dying. Listen to that. Well, it can die just as well here. Your light. Take a look at me and come back and tell me what you think of your light. You shouldn't speak to me like that. Forgive me. I said forgive me. I heard you. Did your seeds come up? No. Did you scratch round them to see if they'd sprouted? They haven't sprouted. Perhaps it's still too early. If they were going to sprout, they would have sprouted. They'll never sprout! This is not much fun. But that's always the way at the end of the day, isn't it, Clove? Always. It's the end of the day like any other day, isn't it, Clove? Looks like it. What's happening? What's happening? Something has taken its course. All right, be off. Oh! I thought I told you to be off. I'm trying. Ever since I was whelped. We're getting on. What is it, my pet? Time for love. Will you sleep? Oh, no. Kiss me. We can't. Try. Uh. 
Oh, why this fuss, day after day? We've lost the tooth. When? I had it yesterday. Ah, oh, yesterday. Can you see me? Hardly. And you? What? Can you see me? Hardly. So much the better. So much the better. Oh, don't say that. Our sight has failed. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. And you? Yes. Our hearing hasn't failed. Our what? Our hearing. No. Have you anything else to say to me? Do you remember? No. When we crashed on our tandem and lost our shanks. <laughs> oh. Oh. It was in the old den. <laughs> on the road to Sedan. <laughs> Are you cold? Yes, perished. And you? I freeze it. Do you want to go in? Yes. Then go in. Why don't you go in? I don't know. Has it changed your sawdust? It isn't sawdust. Can you not be a little accurate, Nag? Your sand, then, is not important. It is important. It was sawdust once. Once. Now it's sand from the shore. Now it's sand he fetches from the shore. Now it's sand. But has it changed yours? No. No, nor mine. I won't have it! Do you want a bit? Uh, no. Of what? Biscuit. I kept you half. Three quarters. For you. Here. Yeah. No? Do you not feel well? Quiet, as quiet. As you're keeping me awake. Talk softer. If I could sleep, I might make love. I'd go into the woods. My eyes would see the sky, the earth. I'd run and run. They wouldn't catch me. Nature. There's something dripping in my head. A heart. A heart in my head. Do you hear him? A heart in his head. <laughs> well, must laugh at these things, Nag. Why do you always laugh at them? Shh, not so loud. Nothing is funnier than unhappiness, I grant you that. Oh. Yes, yes, it's the most comical thing in the world. And we laugh. We laugh with a will in the beginning. But it's always the same thing. It, yes, it, it's like the funny story we've heard too often. We still find it funny, but we don't laugh anymore. Have you anything else to say to me? No. Nope. Are you quite sure? Then I'll leave you. Do you not want your biscuit? I'll keep it for you. Uh, I thought you were going to leave me. I am going to leave you. Could you give me a scratch before you go? No. Where? In the back. No. Rub yourself against the rim. Oh, it's lower down than that. In the hollow. What a hollow? Oh, no. Could you not? Yesterday you scratched me there. Ah, uh, yesterday. Could you not? Would you like me to scratch you? You crying again? I was trying. Perhaps a little vain. What was that he said? Perhaps it's a little vain. What does that mean? That means nothing. 
Will I tell you the story of the tailor? Uh, no. What for? To cheer you up. It's not funny. Well, it always makes you laugh. First time I thought you'd die. It was on Lake Como. One April afternoon. Can you believe it? What? That we once went out rowing on Lake Como. One April afternoon. We got engaged the day before. Engaged? <laughs> you were in such fits we capsized. <laughs> By rights we should have been drowned. <laughs> it was because I felt happy. It was not. It was not. It was my story and nothing else. Happy. Don't you laugh at it still? Every time I tell it? Happy. It was deep. Deep. And you could see down to the bottom. So white. So clean. Let me tell it again. An Englishman. Near the pair of striped trousers in a hurry for the New Year festivities, goes to his tailor, who takes his measurements. That's the lot. Come back in four days and I'll have it ready. Good. Four days later. I'm so sorry. Come back in a week. I've made a mess of the seat. Good. That's all right. That neat seat could be very ticklish a week later. Frightfully sorry. Come back in ten days. I've made a hash of the crutch. Good. Can't be helped. A snug crutch is always a teaser ten days later. Dreadfully sorry. Come back in a fortnight and made the balls of the fly. Good. At a pinch, a smart fly is a stiff proposition. Ugh. I've never told it worse. But tell this story worse and worse. Ah, well. To make it short, the bluebells are blowing and he bollocks the buttonholes. God damn you to hell, sir! No, it's indecent. There are limits. In six days, do you hear me? Six days, God made the world. Yes, sir. No less, sir. The world. And you're not bloody well capable of making me a pair of trousers in three months. Oh, my dear sir. My dear sir. Look at the world. And look at my trousers. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Silence! You could see it down to the bottom. Have you not finished? Will you never finish? Will this never finish? My kingdom for a night, man. Clear away this muck. Chuck it in the sea. So white. What? What's he bladdering about? Desert. She has no pulse. What was she dribbling about? She told me to go away into the desert. Damn busybody. Is that all? Our... No. What else? We didn't understand. Did they battle her? Yes. Are they both battled? Yes. Screw down the lids. Time enough. My anger subsides. I'd like to pee. Well, go and get the catheter. Time enough. Give me my painkiller. It's too soon. Too soon on top of your tonic. It wouldn't act. In the morning, they brace you up, and in the evening, they calm you down. And it's just the other way around. That old doctor, he is dead, naturally. He wasn't old, but he's dead. Naturally. You ask me that. Take me for a little turn. Not too fast. Right round the world. Hug the walls, and back to the center again. I was right in the centre, wasn't I? Yes! We need a proper wheelchair. Big wheels, bicycle wheels. Are you hugging? Yes! It's a lie. Why do you lie to me? There! There! Stop! Old wall. 
beyond is the other hell. Closer, closer, up against. Take away your hand. There. Do you hear? Do you hear? Hollow bricks. Oh, that's hollow. That's enough. Back. You haven't done the round. Back to my place. Is that my place? Yes, that's your place. Am I right in the centre? We'll measure it. Well, more or less, more or less. There. And more or less in the centre? We'll say so. Yes, say so. Put me right in the centre. Let's well, go and get the tape. Roughly, roughly. Bang in the centre. There. I feel a little too far to the left. Now I feel a little too far to the right. I feel a little too far forward. Now I feel a little too far back. Don't stay there, you give me the shivers. If I could kill him, I'd die happy. What's the weather like? As usual. Look at the earth. I've looked. With the glass. No need of the glass. Look at it with the glass. Let's go and get the glass. No need for the glass. I'm back again with the glass. I need the steps. Why, have you shrunk? I don't like that. I don't like that. Back again with the steps. I need the glass. Do you have the glass? No, I haven't the glass. This is deadly. Things are lively enough. I did it on purpose. Say a multitude in transports of joy. And that's what I call a magnifier. Well, don't we laugh? I don't. Nor I. Let's see. Zero. Zero. And zero. Nothing stirs. All is zero. Wait, you're spoken to. All is, all is, all is what? All is what? What all is? In a word. That's what you want to know. Just a moment. Corpsed. Well, content. Look at the sea. It's the same. Look at the ocean. What? A sail, a fin, smoke. The light is sunk. Ha, we all knew that. Let's get left. The base. Yes. And now? All gone. No gulls. Gulls. And the horizon, nothing on the horizon. What in God's name could there be on the horizon? The waves, how are the waves? The waves, lead. And the sun? Zero. But it should be sinking, look again. Damn the sun! Is it night already then? No. Then what is it? Pray. Ray! 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 
Gray? Did I hear you say Gray? Light black from pole to pole. You exaggerate. Don't stay there. You give me the shivers. With this fast day after day. Routine. One never knows. Last night I saw inside my breast there was a big sore. <laughs> you saw your heart. No. It was living. Clove. Yes? What's happening? Something has taken its course. Clove, why is it? We're not beginning to... to mean something. <clears throat> mean something? You and I mean something. <laughs> That's a good one. I wonder. Imagine if a rational being came back to Earth. Wouldn't he be liable to get ideas into his head if he observed us long enough? Ah, good. Now I see what it is. Yes, now I understand what they're at. I'm not going as far as that. We ourselves. We ourselves at certain moments. To think perhaps it won't all have been for nothing. I have a flea. A flea at a still flea. Oh, me, there's one. Unless it's a crab loose. Humanity might starve from there all over again. Catch him for the love of God. I'll go get the powder. A flea, this is awful. What a day. I'm back again with the insecticide. Let him have us. Lying, doggo. Ah, uh, one says lying, one doesn't say laying. You was your head, can't you? If he was laying, we'd be bitched. What about that pee? I'm having it. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Let's go from here, the two of us. Out. You can make a raft and the currents will carry us away, far away to other mammals. God forbid. Alone. I'll embark alone. Get working on the raft immediately. Tomorrow I'll be gone forever. We'll start straight away. Wait a second. There'll be sharks, you think? Sharks? I don't know. There are, there will be. Wait. It's not yet time for my painkiller. No. Wait. How are your eyes? Bad. But you can see. All I want. How are your legs? Bad. But you can walk. I come and go. In my house. One day you'll be blind like me. You'll be sitting there, a speck in the void, in the dark, forever like me. One day you'll say to yourself, I'm tired, I'll sit down. And you'll go and sit down. Then you'll say, I'm hungry. I'll get up and get something to eat. But you won't get up and you won't get anything to eat. You look at the wall a while and you'll say... I close my eyes, perhaps have a little sleep. After that, I feel better. And you close them. And when you open them again, there'll be no wall anymore. Infinite emptiness will be all around you. All the resurrected dead of all the ages wouldn't fill it. And there you'll be, like a little bit of grit in the middle of the step. One day, you'll know what it is. You'll be like me, except that you won't have anyone with you because you won't have had pity on anyone and because there won't be anyone left to have pity on. It's not certain. And there's one thing you forget. Ah? I can't sit down. Well, you lie down then. What the hell? Or you'll come to a standstill, simply stop and stand still the way you are now. One day you'll say, I'm tired, I'll stop. What does the attitude matter? So you all want me to leave you? Naturally. Then I'll leave you. You can't leave us. Then I shan't leave you. Why don't you finish us? I'll tell you the combination of the larder if you promise to finish me. I couldn't finish you. Then you shan't finish me. I'll leave you. I have things to do. Do you remember when you came here? No. 
Too small, you told me. Do you remember your father? Same answer. You've asked me these questions millions of times. I love the old questions. Ah, the old questions, the old answers. There's nothing like them. It was I who was a father to you. Yes. You were that to me. My house, a home for you. Yeah. This was that for me. But for me, no father. But for Ham, no home. I leave you. Did you ever think of one thing? Never. That here we're down in a hole, but beyond the hills, eh? Perhaps it's still green, eh? Flora, Pomona, Kerry's. Perhaps you won't need to go very far. I can't go very far. I leave you. Is my dog ready? He likes a leg. Is he silky? He's a kind of... Pomeranian. Go and get him. He lacks a leg. Go and get him. We're getting on. Your dogs are here. He's white, isn't he? Nearly. What do you mean, nearly? Is he white or isn't he? He isn't. You've forgotten the sex. But he isn't finished. The sex goes on at the end. You haven't put on his ribbon. But he isn't finished. I tell you, first you finish your dog, then you put on his ribbon. Uh, can he stand? I don't know. Try. Well. Wait. Well. He's standing. Where? Where is he? There. Is he gazing at me? Yes. As if you were asking me to take him for a walk. If you like. Or as if you were begging me for a bone. Leave him like that. Standing there, imploring me. I leave you. Have you had your visions? Less. Is Mother Peg's light on? Light? How could anyone's light be on? Extinguished. Naturally, it's extinguished. If it's not on, it's extinguished. No, I mean Mother Peg. But naturally, she's extinguished. What's the matter with you today? I am taking my course. Is she buried? Buried? Who would have buried her? You. Me? I have no enough to do without burying people. You can bury me. No, I shan't bury you. She was bonny once. Like a flower of the field. And a great one for the men. We too were bonny once. It's a rare thing not to have been bonny once. Go get the calf. Do this, do that, and I do it. I never refuse. Why? You're not able to. Soon I won't do it anymore. You won't be able to anymore. Ah, the creatures, the creatures. Everything has to be explained to them. Here's your gaff. Stick it up. Did I move? No. Go get the oil can. What for? To oil the casters. I oiled them yesterday. Yesterday? What does that mean, yesterday? That means that bloody awful day long ago before this bloody awful day. I use the words you taught me. They don't mean anything anymore. They teach me others. Or let me be silent. I once knew a madman who thought the end of the world had come. He was a painter and engraver. I had a great fondness for him. I used to go and see him in the asylum. I take you by the hand and drag him to the window. Look there, all that rising corn. And there, look, the sails, the herring fleet. All that loveliness. <laughs> he snatched away his hand to go back to his corner appalled. All he had seen was ashes. He alone had been spared. Forgotten. It appears the case is, was, not so. So unusual. A madman. 
When was that? Oh, way back, way back. You weren't in the land of the living. God be with the days. I had a great fondness for him. He was a painter and engraver. There are so many terrible things. No, no. There are not so many now. Clove. Yes? Do you not think this has gone on long enough? Yes! What? This, this thing! I always thought so. You not. Then it's a day like any other day. As long as it lasts. All life long, the same analogies. I can't leave you. I know, and you can't follow me. If you leave me, how shall I know? Well, you simply whistle me, and if I don't come running, it means I've left you. You won't come and kiss me goodbye? Oh, I shouldn't think so. But you might be merely dead in your kitchen. The result would be the same. Yes, but how would I know if you were merely dead in your kitchen? Well, sooner or later I'd start to stink. You stink already. The whole place stinks of corpses. The whole universe. And the hell with the universe! Think of something! What? An idea, have an idea. A bright idea. Ah! my legs. Unbelievable. Soon I won't be able to think anymore. He won't be able to leave me. What are you doing? Having an idea. Ah! What a brain. Well, wait. This is perhaps not one of my bright days, but frankly... You whistle me, I don't come, the alarm rings, I'm gone. It doesn't ring, I'm dead. Is it working? The alarm, is it working? Why wouldn't it be working? Well, because it's worked too much. It's hardly worked at all. And because it's worked too little. I'll go and see. to wake the dead. Did you hear it? Vaguely. The end is terrific. I prefer the middle. It's not time for my painkiller. No! I leave you. It's time for my story. Do you want to listen to my story? No. Ask my father if he wants to listen to my story. He doesn't want to listen to your story. I'll give him a pom pom. He wants a sugar plum. He'll get a sugar plum. It's a deal. Do you believe in the life to come? Mine was always that. Got him that time. I'm listed. Scoundrel! Why did you engender me? I didn't know. What? What didn't you know? That it'll be you. You'll give me a sugar plum? After the audition. You swear? Yes. On what? My honor. <laughs> <laughs> Two. One. One for me and one for. One! Silence! Where was I? It's finished. We're finished. Nearly finished.
There'd be no more speech. Something's dripping in my head. Ever since the Fontenelles. Splash, splash. Always on the same spot. Perhaps it's a little vein, a little artery. Enough of that. It's story time. Where was I? The man came crawling towards me on his belly, pale, wonderfully pale and thin. He seemed on the points of... No, I've done that bad. I calmly filled my pipe, the Meerschaum, lit it with, let's say, a Vesta, drew a few puffs. Ah. Well, what is it you want? It was an extraordinarily bitter day, I remember. Zero by the thermometer. But considering it was Christmas Eve, there was nothing extraordinary about that. Seasonable weather, for once in a way. Well, what ill wind blows you my way? He raised his face to me, black with mingled dirt and tears. That should do it. No, no! Don't look at me, don't look at me! He dropped his eyes and mumbled something. Apologies, I presume. Oh, I'm a busy man, you know. The final touches before the festivities. You know what it is. Come on, now. What is the object of this invasion? It was a glorious bright day, I remember. Fifty by the heliometer. But already the sun was sinking down into the... Down among the dead. Nicely put that. Come on now, come on, present your petition and let me resume my labours. There's English for you. Ah, oh, well. It was then he took the plunge. It's my little one, he said. Little one, that's bad. My little boy, he said, as if the sex mattered. Where did he come from? He named the whole a good half day on horse. What are you insinuating? But the place is still inhabited. No, no, not a soul. Except himself and the child, assuming he existed. God. I inquired about the situation at Cove, beyond the Gulf. Not a sinner. Good. And you expect me to believe that you have left your little one back there all alone and alive into the bargain? Come now. It was a howling wild day, I remember. A hundred by the anemometer. The wind was tearing up the dead pines and sweeping them away. That's a bit feeble, Dan. Well, come on, man, speak up. What is it you want from me? I have to pull up my holly. Well, to make it short, it finally transpired that what he wanted from me was bread for his brass. Bread. But I have no bread. It doesn't agree with me. Good. Then perhaps a little corn. That should do it. Corn, yes, I have corn, it's true, in my granaries. But use your head. If I give you some corn, a pound, a pound and a half, you bring it back to your child and you make him, if he's still alive, a nice pot of porridge, a nice pot and a half of porridge full of nourishment. Good. The colours come back in his little cheeks, perhaps, and then... I lost patience. Use your head, can't you? Use your head. You're on earth. There's no cure for that. It was an exceedingly dry day, I remember. Zero by the hygrometer. Ideal weather for my lumbago. But what in God's name do you imagine? That the earth will awake in spring, that the rivers and seas will run with fish again, that there's manna in heaven still for imbeciles like you. Gradually I cooled down, sufficiently at least to ask him how long he had taken on the way. Three whole days, good. In what condition had he left the child? Deep in sleep. But deep in what sleep? Deep in what sleep already? 
Well, to make it short, I finally offered to take him into my service. He had touched a chord. And then I imagined already that I wasn't much longer for this world. <laughs> well, well, here, if you're careful, you might die a nice natural death in peace and comfort. Well, in the end, he asked me would I consent to take in the child as well, if he were still alive. It was the moment I was waiting for. Would I consent to take in the child? I can see him still down on his knees, his hands flat on the ground, glaring at me with his mad eyes in defiance of my wishes. I'd sooner finish with the story. Unless I bring in other characters. Where would I find them? Where would I look for them? Let us pray to God. The sugar plug. It's a rat in the kitchen. A rat? Are there still rats? In the kitchen, there's one. You haven't exterminated him? Half. You disturbed us. He can't get away? No. You'll finish him later. Let us pray to God. Again? The sugar plum. God first. Are you right? Off we go. And you? Oh, Father, we just... Silence! In silence! Where are your manners? Off we go. What a hope. And you? Sweet damn all. And you? Wait! Nothing doing. The bastard. He doesn't exist. Not yet. Me sugar plum! There are no more sugar plums! It's natural. After all, I'm your father. It's true if it hadn't been me, it'd have been someone else. But that's no excuse. Turkish delight, for example, which no longer exists. We all know that. But there is nothing in this world I love more. And one day, I'll ask you for some. In return for a kindness. And you'll promise it to me. One must live with the times. Whom did you call when you were a tiny boy? And were frightened in the dark? Your mother? No. Me. And we let you cry. And then we moved you out of earshot so we could sleep in peace. I was asleep, happy as a king. And you woke me up to have me listen to you. It wasn't indispensable. You didn't really need to have me listen to you. Besides, I didn't listen to you. I hope the day will come when you'll really need to have me listen to you. Need to hear my voice, any voice. Yes, I hope I live till then to hear you calling me like when you were a tiny boy and were frightened in the dark and I was your only hope. Bell! Bell!
Our revels now are ended. The dog's gone. He's not a real dog. He can't go. He's not there. Laying down. Give him up to me. Dirty brute. What are you doing? Putting things in order. I'm going to clear everything away. Order? I love order. My dream. A world where all would be silent and still and each thing in its last place under the last dust. What in God's name do you think you're doing? I'm doing my best to create a little order. Drop it. After all, there or elsewhere. Tram with your feet. Your feet. Tram, tram. I must have put on my boots. Your slippers were hurting you. I leave you. No. What is that to keep me here? The dialogue. I've got on with my story. I've got on with it well. Ask me where I got to. Oh, by the way, your story. What story? The one you've been telling yourself all your days. Ah, you mean my chronicle. That's the one. Keep going, can't you? Keep going. You've got on with it, I hope. Oh, not very far. Not very far. There are days like that. One isn't inspired. Nothing you can do about it. Just wait for it to come. No forcing, no forcing. It's fatal. I've got on with it a little all the same. Technique, you know. I say I've got on with it a little all the same. Well, I never. In spite of everything, you were able to get on with it. Oh, not very far, you know, not very far. But nevertheless, better than nothing. Better than nothing? Is it possible? I'll tell you how it goes. He comes crawling on his belly. Who? What? Who do you mean, he? Who do I mean? Yet another. Ah, him. I wasn't sure. Crawling on his belly, whining for bread for his brat. He's offered a job as gardener before... <laughs> <laughs> what is there so funny about that? The job as gardener. Is that what tickles you? It must be that. Wouldn't be the bread. Or the brat. Uh, the whole thing is comical, I grant you that. What about having a good guffaw, the two of us together? I couldn't guffaw again today. No, Roy. I continue then. Before accepting with gratitude, he asks if he may have his little boy with him. What age? Oh, tiny. He would have climbed the trees. All the little odd jobs. And he would have grown up. Very likely. Keep going, can't you? Keep going. That's all. I stopped there. Do you see how it goes on? More or less. Will it not soon be the end? I'm afraid it will. <laughs> You'll make up another. I don't know. I feel rather drained, the prolonged creative effort. If I could drag myself down to the sea, I'd make a pillow of sand for my head and the tide would come. There's no more tide. Go and see if she's dead. Looks like it. Nine. Doesn't look like it. What's he doing? He's crying. Then he's living. Did you ever have an instant of happiness? Not to my knowledge. Bring me under the window. I want to feel the light on my face. You remember in the beginning when you took me for a time? You used to hold the chair too high, and every step you nearly tipped me out. Ah, oh, great fun we had, the two of us, great fun. And then we got into the wheels. There already. Is it light? It isn't dark. I'm asking you, is it light? Yes. The curtain isn't closed. No. What window is it? The earth. I knew it. There's no light there. The other. Thief. 
That's what I call life. Feels like a ray of sunshine. No. No. It isn't a ray of sunshine I feel on my face. No. Am I very wise? I'm asking you, am I very wise? Not more so than usual. Open the window. What for? I want to hear the sea. You wouldn't hear it. Even if you open the window? No. Then it's not worthwhile opening it. No. Then open it! Have you opened it? Yes. You swear you've opened it? Yes. Well, it must be very calm. I'm asking you, is it very calm? Yes. It's because there are no more navigators. You haven't much conversation all of a sudden. Do you not feel well? I'm cold. What month are we? Close the window, we're going back. Don't stay there, you give me the shivers. Father? Father? Go and see, did he hear me? Yes. Both times. Once only. The first time or the second? He doesn't know. Must have been the second. He'll never know. Is he still crying? No. The dead go fast. What's he doing? Sucking his biscuit. Life goes on. Give me a rug, I'm freezing. There are no more rugs. Kiss me. Will you not kiss me? No. On the forehead. They won't kiss you anywhere. Give me a hand at least. Will you not give me a hand? I won't touch you. Give me the dog. No. You're not wanting your dog? No. No, I'll leave it. That's right. If I don't kill that rat, he'll die. That's right. Me to play. We're getting on. You weep and weep for nothing, so as not to laugh. And little by little, you begin to grieve. All those I might have helped. Helped. Saved. Saved. The place was crawling with them. Use your head, can't you? Use your head. You're on earth. There's no cure for that. Get out of here and love one another. Lick your neighbor as yourself. When it wasn't bread they wanted, it was crumpets. Out of my sight and back to your petting parties. All that. All that. Not even a real dog. The end is in the beginning. And yet, you go on. Perhaps I could go on with my story, end it, and begin another. Perhaps I could throw myself out on the floor. Dig in my nails into the cracks and drag myself forward with my fingers. It will be the end, and there I'll be, wondering what can have brought it on, and wondering what can have... why it was so long coming. There I'll be in the old refuge, alone against the silence and the stillness. If I can hold my peace and sit quiet, it will be all over with sound and motion and all over and done with. I'll have called my father and I'll have called my 
My son. Even twice or three times in case they shouldn't have heard me the first time or the second. I say to myself, he'll come back. And then, and then, he couldn't. He's gone too far. And then, all kinds of fantasies. Then I'm being watched. A rat. Steps. Breath held, and then, then babble, babble. Words, like the solitary child who turns himself into children. Two, three, so as to be together and whisper together in the dark. Moment upon moment, patted and down like the millet grains of that old Greek. And our life long, you wait for that to mount up to a life. Ah, let's get it over. What? Neither gone nor dead. It's spirit only. Which? Both. Gone for me, you'll be dead. And vice versa. Outside of here, it's dead. And the rat? He's got away. He can't go far, eh? He doesn't need to go far. Is there no time for my painkiller? Yes. <sighs> At last. Give it to me quick. There's no more painkiller. Good. No more painkiller. No more painkiller. You'll never get any more painkiller. What's the little round box it was full? Yes. But now it's empty. What'll I do? What'll I do? What are you doing? Wind it up. Look at the earth. Again? Since it's calling to you. The throat saw. Would you like a lozenge? No. Pissy. <laughs> Don't sing. Well, it hasn't the right to sing anymore. No. And how can it end? You want it to end? I want to sing. I can't prevent you. What did I do with that steps? You didn't see that steps. Ah, outside. Sometimes I wonder if I'm in my right mind. And it passes over and I'm as lucid as before. senses and it passes off and I'm as intelligent as ever any particular effect to your fancy or merely the whole thing whole thing the general effect just a moment love mm. you know what it is mm. I was never there love what is it I was never there looking for you absent always it all happened without me. I don't know what's happened. Do you know what's happened? Clove! You want me to look at this smoke heap, yes or no? Answer me first! What? Do you know what's happened? When? Where? When? What's happened? Use your head, can't you? What has happened? What for Christ's sake does it matter? I don't know! When old Mother Peg asked you for oil for a lamp and you told her to get out to hell, you knew what was happening then, no? You know what she died of, Mother Peg? Of darkness. I hadn't any. Yes, you had. I mean, the grass! No, it's clear enough as it is. Go and get it! One thing I'll never understand. Why, I always obey you. Can you explain that to me? No. Perhaps there's compassion. A kind of great compassion. But you won't find it easy. You won't find it easy. I'm tired of their goings on. Very tired. You're not sitting on it. 
Don't leave me there. Am I right in the center? The microscope will find this. Ah. No time. Give me the dog. Quiet. Give me the dog. There's your dog for you. You must hit me maybe with the axe or with the gaff. Hit me with the gaff, not with the dog, with the gaff or with the axe. Let's stop playing. Never. Put me in my coffin. There are no more coffins. Then let it end with a bang of darkness and me. Did anyone ever have pity on me? What? Is it me you're referring to? An aside, ape. You never hear of an aside before. I'm warming up for my last soliloquy. I warn you. I'm going to look at this filth since it's an order. But it's the last time. Let's see. Nothing. Nothing. Good. Good. Nothing. Bad luck to it. More complications. Not an underplot, I trust. Small boy. A small boy. Go and see. Take the gaff. No. No. A potential procreator. If he exists, he'll die there or he'll come here. And if he doesn't... You don't believe me. You think I'm inventing? It's the end, Clove. We've come to the end. I don't need you anymore. Lucky for you. Leave me the cat. Before you go, say something. There's nothing to say. A few words to ponder. In my heart. Your heart. Yes, yes. With the rest. In the end, the shadows, the murmurs, all the trouble to end up with. Clove, he never spoke to me. Then, in the end, before he went, without my having asked him, he spoke to me. He said... Something from your heart. My heart. A few words. From your heart. They said to me, that's love. Yes, yes, not a doubt. Now you see how... Articulate. How easy it is. They said to me, that's friendship. Yes, yes, no question. You found it. They said to me, here's the place. Stop. Raise your head. Look at all that beauty. Order. They said to me, come now, you're not a brute beast. Think upon these things and you'll see how all becomes clear and simple. They said to me, what skilled attention they get, all these dying of their wounds. Enough. I say to myself, sometimes, Clove, you must learn to suffer better than that if you want them to weary of punishing you. One day. I say to myself, sometimes, Clove, you must be there better than that if you want them to let you go. One day. But I feel too old and too far to form new habits. Good, it'll never end, I'll never go. And one day, suddenly, it ends, it changes. I don't understand, it dies or it's me. I don't understand that either. I ask the words that remain, sleeping, waking, morning, evening. They have nothing to say. I open the door of the cell 
and go. I am so bowed, I only see my feet if I open my eyes, and between my legs a little trail of black dust. I say to myself that the earth is extinguished, though I never saw it lit. It's easy, going. When I fall, I'll weep for happiness. Clove. Nothing. Clove. This is what we call making an exit. I'm obliged to you, Clove, for your services. Ah, pardon. It is I am obliged to you. It's we are obliged to each other. One thing more. A last favour. Cover me with the sheet. No? Good. Me to play. Old end game, last of old. Play and lose and have done with losing. Let me see. Ah, yes. Take it easy. And now, raise hat. Peace to our asses. I'm poor again. Deals. Wipe. And put on again. We're coming. A few more squirms like that and I'll call. A little poetry. You prayed. You cried for night. It comes. It falls. Now cry in darkness. You cried for night. It falls. Now cry in darkness. Nicely put, that. Eh? And now, moments for nothing. Now, as always, time was never, and time is over. Reckoning close and story ended. If he could have his child with him. It was the moment I was waiting for. You don't want to abandon him. You want him to bloom while you're withering. Be there to solace your last million last moments. He doesn't realize all he knows is hunger and cold and death to crown it all but you. You ought to know what the earth is like nowadays. Oh, I put him before his responsibilities. Well, there we are. There I am. That's enough. Yes, truly. Good. Father. Father. Good. We're coming. And to end up with... Discard. With my compliments. Love. No? Yeah. Since that's the way we're playing it, let's play it that way and speak no more about it. Speak no more. Old Sponger, you... Remain 